Welcome, welcome YouTube. I'm making this video to show you how I changed my smart air cooler into an all-in-one liquid cooler in order to decrease my temperatures and decrease the noise of my Alienware R10 machine. So I chose this Cosair H60, which is 120 millimeters, which fits into this machine as my base to make the change. So the first step is just to open the case, place it flat on a work surface, and swing out the power supply. So if you go to Alienware's website, you'll, there's lots of manuals to show you how the case works. Now overall, we're going to step two is we're going to make some room by removing parts of it, and we're going to take out the RAM chips. We're going to not going to take out the video card, but that's optional. We're going to take out all the fan plugs and the, the left motherboard power plug and this will give us room to work and here's the final version of it so the third step is just to remove the top fan screws and we'll put that aside so all we need to do is just get a screwdriver loosen them up and then we can just take them out there's just going to be two screws from this particular system and it just comes on out and then you, we'll put that aside now we're just going to remove the top housing and we just got to be careful. I had a bit of a problem here. You can probably see it where I had a problem. Just that, you know, it'll just come out if nothing's in the way. But right now those clips were in the way. So it took me a little while to figure that out. And then I just got it. Once I can get around it, it just came off. And this is where we're going to put our liquid cooler into the cage. So we just got to get it out. And then we'll be ready for the next step. So in step four, we're just going to put the cooler radiator into the top cage. And you just have to pay attention to where the front is so you can see where those two clips are. And you can see that the screws that are there, if you look on top, are offset. So that's because the closes cup go in the front. And once you put it there, everything will line up. So we're just going to put it in here. And it's this is the only part that's really snug within this whole uh, change here. So you just gotta just go from side to side and just put it in evenly and then it'll just go in but with just a little bit of force. What I didn't realize when I purchased the air cooler was that these liquid cooler options actually have a long guarantee. This one here has a five-year guarantee. So the design has advanced from previous years where you've heard of leaking and you know the it's mature and it's not going to leak into it. And so people who are trying to make a choice over air and liquid, you should feel comfortable choosing a liquid cooler right from the start. So when that's all done, you should look and you see everything's lined up. You'll see the screw holes there. And so we'll just take the small screws that are in the bag and we'll just put them in and that'll be the base. So after that, we're going to put the fan on top. All right, that's all done. So the next step, step, which I didn't record, is just to put the fan over the cooler radiator pointing out to the top of the case. So we're gonna use the four long screws in the washer and just make sure that the fan arrows where the airflow is going towards the top of the case to where the fan is. And then, you know, when that's all set, there we go. Now, the next step will be step five. We'll go back into the case. Now we're gonna take out the original air cooler. We are just going to use a crisscross pattern to untighten it little by little over just keep going and it's spring loaded so you'll know when it comes loose but just take your time and it will slowly comes out. The nice thing about this design is that it's already set up to accept an Intel based cooler which ours is already has pre-installed with the brackets for Intel. 
So they're using both the Intel and AMD chips use the same type of bracket system. So the interesting part here is we can see that the air cooler does not completely cover the chip. It's actually, the chip has its own heat sink, so this design doesn't need to be covered 100%. So we'll be gaining just by putting on a liquid cooler, which is 100% coverage. So the next step is we're going to put the risers on for to, to accept the liquid cooler. So these are just the thin ones that are in the box, two thin ones, and then we're just going to put back the radiator housing. That's step five. So I'm just wiggling it to get it in. Uh, just once again, those RAM clips are in the way, and then once it's in, it's it. it just slides in. So we just need to get our screws and just that's screw it in. Okay, there we have the finished product. Radiator, fan, housing, back into the machine. Now we're just gonna clean the processor and put the heat sink over it. So here, what I just did was just, I took it, took it off, took off the plastic part. And since this, the H60 already comes with its own paste, I just put it over the four riser screws and just tighten in a crisscross pattern to get it nice and snug. It doesn't have to be super tight. Overall, in my opinion, the host placement is a bit of controversy. Since this is a micro ATX case and motherboard, it's better to have the hoses facing the bottom instead of the side where you see some photos. Uh, overall, you know, the most important part in a closed system is where the radiator is. Being on top, in case there's any air bubbles, they will always go to the top. I think that's the controversy. People who side mount it, it can be, it's possible, but you're shortening your hoses and you're increasing the chances of getting a pinch. All right, so the heavy lifting's done. And all we have to do is we're going to attach uh, all the things back into the case. So we're going to attach the RAM chips. Just make sure that they're well seated and they'll just clip in. And we're going to attach the top fan and we're going to attach the pump fan, which is actually a tachometer. And we can, because this version of the H60, it uses uh, SATA power. So we're just going to find a SATA power cable from, you can, there is an extra cable behind the power supply and you'll bring that forward and you're going to attach that. So they've gone, and they use this version in order to overcome some of the limitations that the four pin power has be between different OEMs. So now you'll always have complete power, solid power to your pump. Now we just are gonna attach the fan speed regulator into the fan pump, which is a tachometer. And that this is the configuration you can see in the top left how it was before. And this is the new configuration of how we using the different plugs into the pump. So different OEMs and different maybe models like an R9. I've read where you have to maybe switch it from the fan pump into the fan CPU in order to avoid BIOS errors. But some people are on previous postings and stuff have been using different maybe version one of the h60 pump so maybe leave a comment if this works for your version of uh alienware all right now we're on step nine it's just about cable and hose management so you want to make sure that all your uh, power supply cables are back in and not affecting the hoses and so they can be laid nicely whether they're going to be in this configuration to the back depending some people maybe lay them in the front and then we're going to just close the case okay we're going to close the case just got to make sure we're not going to pinch anything so just kind of look at it
All right, moment of truth. We're going to close the case, put on the side panel, power it up, and test it. All right, so here we are, our final results. On the left, we have the old school, quotation mark, smart air cooling, high 80s, peaking in the 90s. While on your right, we got the new kit on the block, all-in-one liquid cooling, the H60, in the 70s peaking in the 80s very nice it's very nice results and uh, I hope this video helps you decide whether this is a, a solution for you and uh, smash that like button and leave a comment if you have some more information for other people who might be looking at this video thank you